my god, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I'm Chef Gib, and what I'm making for you guys today, you can probably guess, has something to do with Nutella. It's so easy and so simple, and it only involves a couple household ingredients that I bet you already probably have. Today what I'm making is Nutella bread biscuits. They're so easy for the kids, the sky's the limit with this recipe. So let's get started. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is you're gonna need three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter and one teaspoon of uh, sugar, a half cup of water, uh, microwave to about 115 degrees, a half cup of milk, a cup and a half of Nutella, one packet of active dry yeast, and a quarter cup of unsalted butter. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna bloom our yeast. So we're gonna take our water and add in our yeast and add in just a little bit of sugar, about a teaspoon. Then we're just gonna mix it. I'm gonna set this to the side for about five minutes and it'll start to smell like a bakery. Like you'll start to really smell the yeast and that's when you know that it's done. We are gonna start working on our dough. So what we need is we're gonna take our flour, we're gonna take our sugar, and I also have a pinch of salt in here. I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna move it over to the stand mixer, fit it with a dough hook, and just give it a quick stir. We are going to add melted butter, our milk, start getting incorporated. So now we're gonna wait for our yeast to fully bloom and then we're gonna add it to the flour and butter mixture that we have going and that will make our dough. So what we're doing is we're adding the yeast to uh, a liquid. I use water, it's my personal preference. And you have to have the liquid that you put it in be 110 to 115. If you have it below or above, the yeast might not work as fast or might work too fast and kill out some of the yeast and the yeast will not work and make a good dough that you want. So when you bloom, you have to make sure that the liquid is 110 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's actually perfectly bloomed and we're gonna mix it just till you have a smooth and formed dough. And you're gonna need to stop it once or twice and scrape down the sides, but do not, uh, do not disrupt this. Do not add anything in. If it looks too dry, wait till the kneading process. At this, you do not want to disturb it. Our dough looks like it's done. We are going to take our bowl. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it. Add just a little bit to the bottom. And then what I do is I take a pastry brush, bring it out to the outsides. So what's gonna happen as when you put this on is when it rises, it won't stick to the bowl. And if it sticks to the bowl, then it's game over. I mean, it's gonna be a huge pain to get out of the bowl. And we're just gonna take our and turn it over so it gets incorporated in the oil. Take a dishcloth and we're gonna let it set in a warm place for about an hour. What I normally do is I keep it right on top of the stove, right here, because I normally always have something in the oven or on the stove so the heat from that can come off and help that rise. So our bread dough has been rising for about an hour. So see, look how it's almost doubled in size. We're gonna flour our surface. It's better to do it on marble because uh, marble is cold and it's better for baking uh, and for preserving heat. Tip our dough out to the bench. And we're just gonna start to knead it. And if it feels kind of if it feels kind of sticky, add a little bit more flour, but normally it doesn't, it's not sticky. So we're gonna take our rolling pin. So we're gonna flour our pin so the bread does not stick to the pin. And we're gonna roll it out. And you kind of have to work fast and not to overwork the gluten. So gluten is made by yeast. It's like when you mix yeast with water and then you put it into a dough, it start, starts to create gluten with the flour. So now that we have it kind of in half, we're gonna take our dough scraper. We're just gonna divide it in half. Each half is gonna make one bread twist. We're just gonna keep rolling, split it in half. And on one half, we're gonna add our Nutella. And when you do this, you want to add the Nutella on when it's melted. If you just scoop it straight from the jar, it'll just turn into a giant mess. 
because you're going to basically be tearing uh, tearing your dough apart and you do not want that. If you just take the Nutella and you pour it into a bowl and then you microwave it, you have to be very careful to, to microwave it on a low heat because once I did it on a high heat and it got this weird bubble and when you popped it, it made it, it's kind of smoked and it, it just be careful. Now we're going to braid. And it's not like normal hair braiding, it's kind of cooking. <laughs> Crossover. And at the end, we're just gonna pinch. Just like this, over. And over. And over. And see, look at that, how you kind of get the Nutella coming all the way through. I'm gonna transfer the twist onto the baking sheet. I think whoever in, invented Nutella deserves a high five and a million bucks because, I mean, Nutella is great. I mean, Nutella on toast, Nutella on anything is great. And what's nice is when the Nutella under it, when you bake it, when you tear open, you get all that steam and the warm Nutella, ooh. Now right, we're gonna pick it up quickly, quickly, quickly. We're gonna pop this in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes until the tops start to get golden brown. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. God, I dream about this sometimes. Like look at that, the hot Nutella just weaving in and out of the bread. But here's the best part, look. When you rip it open, all that melty inside and you get that kind of steam. Oh my God, and how it gets all over your hand. Mm. <laughs> I'm still eating. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching A Kid in the Kitchen. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. I am Gibson Brawley, and I will see you next week. Bye.